and so by now you're seeing the exposure of p diddy and we're gonna see the trail of exposure that happens behind him a couple years ago we saw jeffrey epstein we have yet to see what's behind that man spiritually we see that there's a lot of corruption a lot of perversion who knows who's all connected to these two men who knows the wickedness that has happened behind closed doors what if it's affected the church what if church leaders are in these lists how do we respond i'll tell you this that the lord is bringing light to dark places as born again believers now is the time for us to not seek god's hand but his face the face of god is the person of the holy spirit we need the person of the holy spirit as jesus ascended he released himself into this world by gifts to men but one of his main gifts was the person of the holy spirit that was released to us as born again believers we have the same spirit that raised jesus from the dead jesus is coming back for a spotless bride will you and i be a part of the remnant because there's a shifting a shaking that is coming to the body of christ the world is going to act like the world but how is the church to respond in moments like this we've got wars rumors of wars potentially world war three that is breaking out right now we've got an election in a few days there's a lot of uncertainty there needs to be some strong voices that rise up to speak the truth for such a time as this we need truth we need the person of the holy spirit the one who gives truth the one that's a comforter a helper a standby for what's to come we need to be ready a great reset a falling of this babylonian system will the church arise and stand as a spotless bride i believe you will see several men of god supposedly who will fall in the coming years we might be surprised at who's on these lists can't blame the world for acting like the world we can't get mad at the way they're responding and the corruption that's there but as born again believers we can pray we can fast we can intercede for those that are doing really nasty things behind closed doors for the perversion to be exposed and to stop Galatians 6 verse 1 says this, Dear brothers and sisters, if another believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly help that person back onto the right path. And be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. Share each other's burdens and in this way obey the law of Christ. If you think you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself. You are not that important. To me, this is a glaring warning for what's to come. How will we respond? Will we judge? Will we criticize? Or will we help our brothers and sisters who fall? Time will tell. The tree is being shaken. So let us pray, let us fast, let us intercede, for the return of the Lord draws nigh.